Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and uh, just wanted to mention uh, something about the fact that there is a performance difference between the ATS-20 and 25. At first I didn't see it immediately because where I was tuning they seemed to perform well. But yesterday a few signals made me actually show that the ATS-25 has a better receiver to cope with strong signals. And one of the things that I did note is that when a shortwave, a weak shortwave signal was close to a very strong one, and I'll give an idea, I posted a video yesterday of Voice of America on 6080 with the ATS-25, it was coming in really well. But there was of course Radio Japan via France, which is a amazingly strong signal on 6105 here and noticed that the ATS-20 was unable to get 6080 properly and I was wondering you know if it was just sensitivity was different but I tuned a few signals and noticed that when I was getting close to a very strong signal on the S20 sensitivity was definitely going down so this is something that they fixed on the ATS-25 and made better so you know it's not just that they've added a touchscreen or anything there's some improvements in the internal radio itself once again you know i'll say what i i, I have said from the beginning these are nice devices and it's fun to play and if you have some money to burn on a radio and just want to have something unique and different um you'll have fun with an ats-25 it's kind of got a cute little radio it works pretty well um but it's you know it's it's in its own league uh that's for sure so definitely there is an improvement and um you know the more i test the more i see that the ats-20 is really something to avoid um pretty much where the ats-25 well if you just want to have something that is a different form factor um well maybe it could be interesting battery life once again seems to be okay i haven't tested it um, really unplugged for long enough but I unplugged it today around uh, what 3 p.m. local here which is uh, 19 UTC I'm gonna leave it unplugged and see if it still works through the show the live show tonight for example it's gonna be interesting to check that out so here's some skip on uh, channel 6 CB channel 6 so we can see that it actually does receive some stuff over here pretty pretty interesting for those that have been asking about the uh, seek feature here uh, and wondered if it went you know it was like an ETM scan or stuff like that no it's not it just goes to the next signal that it can find um, and that's it so it's definitely not a, um, a ETM scan of any sort the good thing about uh, the the ATS-25, like the ATS-20, it's probably upgradable in the firmware, so there will possibly be people, you know, kind of um, maybe releasing uh, all sorts of open source uh, code to make the radio, uh, you know, operate differently or even change the screen. You know, it has the capability of having a, a, a waterfall and. Um, a, a standard SDR screen it would be possible on this thing to have that it's just that that's not been programmed here for uh, that purpose but uh, definitely there could be some um, you know upgrades uh, for that what I find really funny here is that li little logo here that they've used which is really you know every time I look at it all I see is the ARRL logo <laughs> it's uh, obviously kind of been taken from that probably so uh, these are more personal observations and of course more will come and we'll talk about it in the live show also but um, I'm definitely enjoying the ATS-25 honestly for what it is um, oh and la la one last comment by tuning quite a lot yesterday okay I can yes confirm that I did see an improvement on the encoder um, it doesn't jump as much but I'm not sure it's the encoder um, I'm almost wondering if it's not more of a uh, the software in the ATS-20 that's just not coping well with the way it works 
uh, more than the encoder itself. So um, that's pretty much my personal observations here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.